Hi everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, and I just wanted to come on and show you um, and talk about a couple things um, from Lily of the Valley uh, stamps in the UK. Um, you guys know that I love their Christmas tags, their Christmas tag stamp sets in particular, and they have started to um, create their stamps digitally. And so I went um, onto their site and I purchased my two favorite Christmas stamp sets, sentiment sets, sentiment sets from them digitally. And I wanted to see if I could change the color um, from black to red because normally when I use this, the stamps on my tags, like on this tag, for example, right here, I generally will stamp them out in red. Um, and cut them out, uh, like this one says warm winter wishes. Sorry, it's so blurry. Um, so anyway, I wanted to see if I could change the print color from black, which is the way they come in the file. Um, when you get the digital file and download it to your computer, you're going to, um, the stamps that you get will be black like this. So this is a copy that I did where I printed out a whole bunch of them. Um, and again, this is in black, which is great. You can use those. But I wanted to see if I could change them to red. So I thought I would come into the Word for Windows program on my PC and try and do that. And I'm going to show you what I did. Um, this is after you've already... Um, here, let me get out of this view really quick. Um, this is uh, after you've already downloaded the images and you just want to... Um, play with them, you can go ahead and uh, let me get a new file folder. Blank document. Create. Okay, so here's a blank document. So once you've downloaded the photo uh, or the images to your computer, you can go and select one of the images and I've got mine stored in actually in my, I copied them to my uh, to my photo area of my computer so they're actually um, in my current you can see them on here see all of them I, I bought this file and this one and what's neat about these is they now have them both left and right facing um, so you can see this one says left right here with an L and then later on I have some that are to the right with an R um, Anyway, don't worry about that right now because they come that way so you can download whichever one you want, the tags facing left or the tags facing right. But let's just say I wanted to, um, let's let's do this. Let's do the Oh Christmas Tree. We'll insert this one. And this time, instead of changing it to red because this one's a Christmas tree one, I'm going to change this one to green. So I'm going to go in really close on the computer screen here. And there's an area that says... Um, recolor and you click on recolor and I'm gonna and then you go down to where it says lighter variations and I'm sorry this isn't gonna be clear on my video because it, it just isn't but it says lighter variations and you can select any color you want and it will change the background of that stamp and let me enlarge this so you can see it better so it changed it to green and if I wanted to change it I could go to recolor down to lighter variations and I could pick blue. Um, I could go to recolor and pick red, but uh, for the sake of what I wanna do, I'm gonna pick green. And then really you can make these tags, like if you just wanted to make a tag that said, oh, Christmas tree that was really big, you can make this as big as you want, at, at least as far as an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper goes. And you could just um, right click copy Hit paste. You could maybe probably fit, well, if they're this big, you probably can only fit two, but if we go a little smaller, we can probably fit three on a page. Let's see. Uh, copy this one more time. Paste. Uh, it doesn't quite want to fit three on a page. Let me shrink this down. There we go. So, you can size them so that you get three on a page, say, and you could print these out and you've got three Christmas tags that say, oh, Christmas tree. So the neat thing about digital stamps is wherever your mind takes you is what you can do with them. Um, you know, and then they have these so that the tag part is on the right side or the left side now. 
So it's a lot more variation for when you're creating tags um, and how you're going to use them. But I just wanted to come on and show you that because I've had several people ask um, about about the digital uh, stamps and how I use them and how I print them, etc. So um, once you download the file onto your computer, you can save it into your photo program. And the way I print it from my photo program, uh, just to let you know, I have this thing uh, in my photo program. Let me switch over there really quick. Uh, let's see. Um, in my photo hosting program, uh, I have, um, let's see, I'll print layout. Okay. Pick images. I'm just going to pick. So I have this layout that's called, what is the template called? Um, I think it's called stickers. And this is on, um, this is a program that came with, uh, my computer and it's called image expert 2000 it's extremely old but basically uh, it's making stickers it says stickers and they're um, they're really tiny <laughs> but anyway I have the ability to actually create uh, stickers using the images so I can go in and select oh, my computer is bugging out a little bit but I can go in here and just pick which ones I want and slip them in here and then uh, hit fit to frame and it will, sorry I was out of frame there, and it will post, you know, it'll make a tag that size and I can fill this whole page with tags. So that's how I was printing them. So I don't know how helpful that is because everybody's photo program is going to be different and it's very hard to give people information about how to print something out because some people are using Adobe Photoshop Elements, some people are using um, you know just all sorts of different uh, programs uh, Photoshop, Adobe, etc. So uh, for the sake of what I did um, in showing you uh, I think for some people, probably the easiest way is going to be copying them into their photo program. And then if their photo program gives them lots of variations, they should be able to print them this small. If that isn't the case, use Word because Word will allow you to manipulate the size very easily also. And on top of that, you can go to recolor on Word and change the color to red or green. So um, I hope that helps people that had questions. I am not a tech expert. Everything I've learned, I'm self-taught and I just sit down and I try to figure things out. I did go and watch a couple YouTube videos um, today that showed how they do it in Adobe. And when I went into Word, I was able to figure it out. So um, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye now.